What is the energy? Someone will pay dearly for this. Before I read the letter, I'd just like to remind all of you listeners that the Love Line always wants to help the Lovelorn. Write us. If we read your letter on the air, we'll give you a romantic prize. Remember, listeners, we'll read one special letter every night. And the lucky winner gets a beautiful prize delivered the next morning. <laughs> You're off the air. I will right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you. Lots of pretty words, Miss Moon, but is that all they are? Pretty words? <laughs> Render? Why would I want to do a stupid thing like that? <laughs> Jedi, what news? Very good news, my queen. Yes, I must commend your efforts. Thanks, Queen Beryl. I am only following your plan. You have tapped a bottomless resource. I know. The humans are so vain. They are. They expend an absurd amount of energy on crazy diets and frenetic activity they call fitness. Have you been here before, ladies? Uh, uh, no. It's the first time here for all of us. Don't be scared. These are relaxation pods. Huh? You get inside these pods, and in a minute, you're completely relaxed. Try it. You'll feel like a brand new person. <laughs> Relaxation pods. That's a good one. <laughs> Queen Beryl will be most pleased. <laughs> but you should see the glow you have on all your lovely faces. I'm sure of it. The relaxation pods have worked wonders. <laughs> wonders for the Negaverse. Stupid humans. They're so easy to fool. <laughs> I shall feed their energy to the Mega Force. Arise, Queen Beryl. Your realm shall very soon include Earth. <laughs> Many young humans lust after scholastic achievement and will do anything to succeed, expanding enormous amounts of valuable energy. It sounds promising. And how do you plan to gather this energy? By something the humans call a computer. We shall turn their own mm. device against them. Ca I knew speeding up time would pay off big. Won't be long now. We'll have enough energy to release the Nega Force. <laughs> Jedi Ch Oh, I'm very pleased, Ramois. Man, Queen Beryl will be impressed. I'm happy to serve Her Majesty, and you too, Jedi. So it would seem. Sailor Moon will pay for this if I survive! Jedi, we are pleased with the energy you have collected from the people of Earth. But you have also made several mistakes. And you have not yet been able to defeat the three Sailor Scouts. Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Mars. This disturbs me, Jedi. Let me explain, Queen Beryl. This is your last chance, Jedi. Sailor Moon and her two little friends must be destroyed finally and forever. If you fail, the punishment is eternal sleep. 
I wish you success, Jedi. For the punishment of eternal sleep condemns you for the most profound darkness. Forever. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, what is that? I have come to challenge you to a duel, Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Mars. Oh. Meet me at the main runway at the airport, one o'clock, tomorrow night. Otherwise... It's only an illusion, but if you don't show up, I'll burn this city to ashes. This time, for real! We can dispense with the police presence. Take a nap. Come on, Sailor Scouts. Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars. Now I've got you where I want you. Why are they coming after me? Huh? important information for you. You have failed to defeat the Sailor Scouts, Jedi. But Queen Beryl, I have learned the identities of the Sailor Scouts. I know who they are. I will hear no excuses. Sleep forever! Queen Beryl, wait! No! You, Neflite, are my new commander. 